Hello everyone, I am Nagaveli Prasad working in TSWR Center of Excellence, Karimnagar. Before starting this session, I want to ask you a question. My dear students, how does oxygen move from lungs to tissues and how does carbon dioxide transfer or moves from tissues to lungs? Yes, you are right. The answer is diffusion process. So as we have studied, diffusion is nothing but movement of gases, movement of uh, any uh, substance from higher concentrated area to lower concentrated area or pressure. Higher pressure area to lower pressure area. That means in our body, if the gas move uh, from one organ to another organ, here pressure gradient play vital role, very important role. Today I am going to explain you how does this pressure uh, gradient helps in the movement of gases like oxygen from lungs to tissues and carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs. How it is happening, how this entire journey is taking place, let us discuss. Exchange of gases in human body. My dear students, I told you already here, pressure gradient play vital role. Whereas oxygen present in the atmosphere whose partial pressure is 159 mm of Hg whereas the oxygen present in the alveoli only 104, 104 mm of Hg obviously oxygen has to move from higher to lower so that oxygen reaches the lungs first, alveolus clear? then the capillaries which reaches to the alveolus capillary possess oxygen right? that oxygen pressure gradient only 40 mm of Hg so that oxygen moves from alveolus to blood capillaries because higher to lower once oxygen enters into lower uh, blood capillary so the concentration of oxygen blood becomes into 95 mm of Hg so this 95 mm of Hg pressure uh, partial pressure of oxygen when reaches the tissues whereas tissues possess only 40 mm of Hg pressure of oxygen obviously oxygen has to move from capillaries to blood tissues once oxygen utilizes in the process of respiration carbon dioxide will release as an end product right so that uh, tissues possess 45 mm of Hg of partial pressure of carbon dioxide Whereas the capillaries possess only 40 mm of Hg of pressure. So carbon dioxide moves from tissues to capillaries because higher to lower, simple diffusion. Then once carbon dioxide enters into capillaries, then this deoxygenated blood becomes into 45 pressure of carbon dioxide, mm of Hg. So this carbon dioxide blood, deoxygenated blood travels through the heart and reaches the alveolus so alveolus possess only 40 mm of Hg partial pressure of carbon dioxide which is lesser than capillary so that carbon dioxide moves from capillaries to alveolus so alveolus contains 40 mm of Hg pressure whereas atmospheric air contains 0.03 uh, mm of Hg carbon dioxide obviously carbon dioxide has to move from alveolus to environment so this is entire the journey of oxygen from environment to tissues and the carbon dioxide from tissues to environment by the process simple diffusion here pressure gradient play vital the question for this session is what happens if inhaled air contains carbon monoxide